What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. We've got the Duramax project continuing. And what do we see here in the background? Nice big box that we just got in the mail. So we're gonna be opening that one up. That is our turbo from Ryan's Performance Diesel Service. We're gonna be opening that one up for you guys and we're gonna be showing you the differences between a standard turbo that came off my LBZ and a Ryan's Performance Diesel Service turbo. We're gonna see how this one looks for you guys. Now, before we get to looking into the differences between the two turbos, I wanted to go through what we did kind of for uh, the ordering process when you go through Ryan's Performance Diesel Service. Yes, they do have the availability to, when you uh, look at the turbos on their website, which I will leave a link down in the description below also, they go through a process with you to make sure the turbo that you need or that you want fits the description of what you're actually trying to go for and what you need. Well, after you place your order, they will actually call you or you can contact them and they will actually go through your build, what kind of engine you've got, what kind of modifications you've got, where you are actually looking for this turbo, turbo to be able to do. Some people who end up ordering, say, their 68 millimeter race uh, turbo, they get it and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, this thing's extra laggy when it comes to towing, it's not so great or off the line. Well, then you probably shouldn't have gotten that specific turbo. And I think that was one of the biggest selling points that I had with Ryan. And when I talked to him, he wasn't scared of telling me what I probably would be happy with and probably what I wouldn't be happy with. He went through my whole situation, told him my you know truck, what I was going for, looking for a 750 horse. We've got X amount of you know play on the injectors that we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be doing the head gaskets, studding it. So it ended up being to fit what we needed for our bill was going to be the 68 millimeter race series turbo from Ryan's Diesel. So what they specialize in, which you will see here in just a second, is taking a stock turbo and upgrading it. They're gonna mill everything out. They're gonna go through and do a whole bunch of other little touches to be able to get these turbos to be able to boost the numbers that they're gonna be doing. So without further ado, let's get over and let's check out the differences between the old one and the new 68 millimeter race turbo. Old grimy stock turbocharger. Nice new shiny Ryan's Performance diesel turbocharger. This is what we're talking about. So when looking just at the outward differences between the two, you, the first thing you obviously is, see is the impeller. You see the standard impeller, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 12 bay, blade propeller. And then over here on this one, we've got a six blade impeller on this one. And obviously the housing as well is a lot larger. I'll throw some uh, photos up here to compare the two. As you can see, that one is quite a bit more honed out, and that's because the standard stock one is going to be a 61 series, a 61 millimeter opening, and then the Ryan's here is going to be a 68 millimeter opening, is what the impeller is honed out to on this one. And then on top of that, you can see that all of the hardware has been changed out, all brand new hardware, new clamps, new actuators, the solenoid there, all cleaned surfaces right there, and then even the exhaust housing here is uh, coated with a high temp ceramic it looks like, powder coat almost is what it's kind of looking like even have their Ryan's Performance Diesel Service here, their stock number. New snap rings, 
new hardware all the way around. It's just, it's a really impressive turbocharger, guys. And I like the touch that they did, that they did the, you know, the brush polish look for the whole face of it. I'm really impressed by that one. Whereas you're looking over here at the stock one. The other thing I wanted to point out, we're gonna see if we can get a look inside here. We can see how there's quite a few uh, casting issues that they had, you know, some of those uh, cast marks, they actually stick out. And then if we go over here to the Ryan's one, it's almost like they filled in a lot of the casting here on the beginning portion of it and then smoothed it all out significantly. That's going to definitely increase the uh, airflow rate on the inlet of the turbos. So that's pretty neat to look at. So let's look at the exhaust portion of it now. Now when we're looking over here at the exhaust portion of this, you can see the uh, stock one in here, there's quite a few different little casting, you know, issues and little deviations in it. And then here on this one, we've got, looks like a 13 blade uh, compressor wheel. They're quite small. I am surprised at how small these are for how much these stock ones are able to spool up. Now we're gonna look over here, the Ryan's one. We go to a 10 blade wheel and these blades are quite a bit larger. And then I'll throw up on the screen here, the differences between the two openings. This one is gonna be a 71 or 72 millimeter opening, I believe is what it is. And then the factory one, you guys will have to tell me if you guys do know, I'm not sure myself on what the exhaust housing portion of these turbos are from the factory, but the differences are quite obvious and quite apparent to that one do you see how well you know they machine these things out and how well they are actually put together the little nose end of the impeller is a bit smaller also probably to cut back on turbulence and now back over here to the ryan's one here in the exhaust ports you can see it is quite a bit smoother here inside of it a lot of those casting issues, it doesn't show up real well on camera, but the casting issues looks like they've been, you know, taken down quite a bit as well. I'm very impressed by that one. Their attention to detail on these is quite evident. They take a lot of pride in what they actually do with these turbochargers. So as you can see, the difference with the turbos is very evident and I'm super excited about getting that actually put onto the truck. Now we've got quite a few more things to go before we actually get it put on, but we'll make another video when it comes to come time to putting that one on. And then before we start the truck, we'll do some you know preliminary uh, things on getting the oil started to the turbo as well. I didn't have to worry about getting an install kit on the turbo because the head gasket kit that I ended up getting has all of those gaskets and fittings and everything that needs to come with it also. So I don't really need to worry about that one. So we're gonna get everything going and let's look through and kind of give you guys just an update on what is going on, where the Duramax is at right now. So as of right now, heads are off. As you saw, I don't know if you saw in the background with the turbos there on the bed of the truck, the heads just got back from the machine shop. So we got those done. I've been doing some, as we can see over here, some painting on the valve covers. Why not, while we've got it all apart, make them look actually uh, nice and fancy. So as you can see, I've got the one side done here. We ended up going with a black here for the lower and a uh, kind of a gunmetal style gray for the upper portion of it because hint hint we're going to have a couple of other engine parts coming in here soon that this is going to match to so we'll have that end up coming here soon and then we've got parts and parts and parts and parts and parts all over here on the bench parts and parts and parts there sitting on the trans parts and parts and parts over here on this bench manifolds and then we've got another bench over here with parts and parts and parts. Hopefully I can figure out where all of this good stuff goes. There's the engine harness. There's a bunch of old stuff that's not gonna go back onto the truck. But looking over here for the next video that you guys need to make sure you stay tuned in for, we've got all of our gasket kit. We're gonna be going through that. We're gonna be doing heads work 
so you can see these coming up here for you. That'll be the next video that we get to and actually getting the heads put on the vehicle along with another box we've got done in here, head studs and some uh, fancy PCV stuff that we're gonna be trying to work with as well. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Well guys, that's about all I've got for the video for you guys today. As I said, make sure you stay tuned in for more things coming up here on the Duramax and tool builds, tool stuff going on as well. Big thank you to Ryan's Diesel Performance again. They're going to have a truck show also coming up on June 22nd. I will put the link to that one, their Facebook page in the channel below. As also stated by Truckmaster, he's going to be there. Dalton Bertrand 850 is going to be there. Uh, also Rory from over at Duramax Diesel. Make sure you go and check his channel out too. He's done an LB7 recently on his with a whole bunch of cool things that I'm going to be trying to also get on camera here on the LBZ. I will put his link down in the description as well. That's something that you guys also need to check out. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you and you guys stay awesome.